Hey guys and girls, welcome to another video. This video is obviously a little bit different than our regular videos, but a lot of you guys have reached out to us just to ask us how we're doing after Hurricane Ian that came through. So we wanted to do an update video for you. First of all, we wanted to say thank you to everyone who did reach out, it means a lot to us. We are safe, Ali's safe, I'm safe, our dogs are fine, Callie's safe, her cats are safe. We are totally safe. <laughs> um, as far as our properties go, I will be showing footage in today's video and we'll, we'll get into that. I also wanted to say while we are safe, Hurricane Ian absolutely decimated South Florida. It was one of the worst storms we've had in history and the damage down there is extreme. If you would like to help out either physically or financially, I have linked the Red Cross Disaster Relief website in the description of this video. We will be doing what we can to help out and if you feel like you would like to help out as well, uh, the Red Cross is a great organization to do that through. Okay, so here's our Hurricane Ian story. As a lot of you know already, we purchased a five acre property just outside of Tampa, Florida. The property has two large buildings. One is a finished 3,400 square foot building, which is the one that I'm currently in right now. This is where we run our reselling business out of. We sell on eBay, Amazon, whatnot. We sell stuff online. We buy stuff and then we sell that stuff online for a profit. The other building is a 6,400 square foot metal building that we are currently converting into uh, a space for our business. So this space here, this 3,400 square foot building, we are turning into a house, into a barn dominium house. And then the other building, the 6,400 square foot building, will become our business side of things. We also have a ton of trees on this property. When we first bought the property, we paid to have some of the trees trimmed back and a couple of the sick trees overhanging our building taken down. But the biggest issue we've had since we bought this property almost three years ago is the water issue, the flooding issue. We're in a low spot and the water just loves to get onto the concrete pad and sometimes it makes its way into the building. So with the hurricane two days away from hitting Florida and the tracking of the hurricane was to make a direct impact with Tampa, exactly where we were. So with the hurricane two days away, we had to get the drainage issue under control. So we paid to have an excavator come out on the property and dig a two to three foot trench all the way in front of the buildings. And again, at this point, the news was saying that the hurricane was gonna make a direct impact with Tampa as a category four, which is pretty severe. So we knew the wind would also be an issue. So we tried to clear up uh, as much of the stuff, the loose items that we had outside. Now, even with the trench dug, we still wanted to protect the building as much as we could. So we decided to build up a dirt wall all the way around the building. Sweaty. You, Ian. <laughs> All right, here's what we got. We built this wall and we built a moat. So we have like a, like a two, three foot, two foot, two foot dug moat. And then another like foot and a half wall. We try to get the vulnerable spots like the front door, sandbags, more dirt, wall. Good job, girls. <laughs> and then we did little drains for the gutters going out to the moat that we built. So we got this dug out the whole way down the main building. Little like, little things. <laughs> we got a wall the whole way down. There's another door over there that we built the dirt up on as well. Yeah, fighting nature with nature. Yeah, built up there so that should keep the water out we try to do it like behind the gutter line so if the water comes this way it's blocking it by the dirt and it's going into the little ravine ellie's dug out the back of the warehouse now just to add an extra layer of protection look at all you chickens my neighbor's chickens what's he gonna do with them all he says he's gonna let them roam really yeah because animals will hunker down you're gonna be all right through this weather chickens Man, that's so many chickens. We also had a few sandbags left over from the last big storm that we had. So we put those to good use as well. And then cause water actually does get in under here cause this building, it's a pole barn, it's not sealed. So we did, we brought everything inside that was loose and outside. But we also put more sandbags on this door so that if water does come in this way, 
it shouldn't really be able to get in too much. So yeah, it's stressful. Definitely stressful owning property that floods in Florida when there's a hurricane, but. Hey Momo, are you preparing for the hurricane by getting some naps in, huh? Just go girl, sweet girl. And with everything now prepared as much as we possibly could, uh, we set up three cameras in the windows of the property. One looking at the back door, one looking at the middle pad, and then one looking out at Callie's camper. And then Callie, Allie, Callie's cats and I, <laughs> uh, we all traveled back to our home, which is about 40 minutes away from this property. And we waited for the storm to hit. Oh no dogs, we have our first hurricane casualty. There's a tent, there's a tent in the water. It's sinking. The hurricane decided to take a turn south and it landed in Fort Myers as a category four and it hit them hard. We got lucky that it missed impacting us with full strength. But again, South Florida was hit very, very hard. And a lot of people have lost everything down there. So I'll say it again, if you would like to donate your time or your finances to help the people down there who are really, really hurt by this hurricane, there's a link in the description that goes to the Red Cross Disaster Relief Fund. So we got some heavy wind and rain at our house, but the main force of the hurricane hit us overnight. We were able to watch on the cameras at the ranch for a bit and we could see that the efforts that we made were working. The trench was totally full of water from the rain and the dirt wall that we built was keeping most of the water off the pad. Unfortunately, the power cut out at the ranch around 5 p.m. So before the full force of the storm actually hit us, the power cut off and because those cameras are tied to the internet, we couldn't see anything anymore. The following day after we woke up, we decided we would, uh, go out on the road and try to make it up to the ranch to assess any damages. Little tree down there. Leaves, lots of leaves. People cleaning up. Dead. Camper is standing. Oh, he didn't take his fence down? I guess not. Dang. Buildings look good. Oh my gosh. No trees so down. Lucky. There's leaves everywhere. Galley's camper survived. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh wow, all right. It's not even that bad. This is full, this ditch is all full. It's a bit wet on the patio, but let's see what we got. It's not bad. This worked. There's not even any water there. You gotta squeegee this off. Squeegee that off. Obviously we got some yard work to do. <laughs> Squeegee this off. We got to make sure, because if this sits here, then water will get into that warehouse. So. Man, this actually worked really well. A bunch of water got on the pad over there, but this area looks like it survived. We have no power inside, so I don't know if we can really see anything. It smells a little musty. <laughs> Um, it's dry. Sometimes water gets in here. This area is dry. It's good. Oh yeah, totally dry. A little bit. A little bit of moisture right there. Okay. This warehouse looks totally fine. Totally fine. All right, let's go see. So sometimes water gets in under here, which it doesn't look like it did. Nice and over at the other one. So we sandbagged this door. Let's see. Let's make sure this is the new area that we just had built. So what have we got? Dry. No way. Yes. Look at that. Totally dry. Totally dry, amazing. You gonna make that leap? Not even one drop of water in there. Really? Nothing. So the French drain is the solution. Water didn't even get in the building here at all. Wow. That area doesn't, water never comes in. No, but it comes in. Oh it, no, sorry, I meant where the garage doors are. Oh yeah, yeah. But usually this whole area here by the stage and stuff is flooded and there's nothing. You're gonna, you're gonna make this jump? Look, that's where I landed. <laughs> Let's go see. Our pond is full. This is squishy. Oh, that's squishy. 
Yeah. Okay. On a positive note, it's beautiful outside. It's like 70 degrees right now with a nice breeze. There's not even very big branches down. Just the water issues we have to deal with. There's like, you know, a little branch there, easy to clean up. Uh, but I thought like these are really big trees with big branches. I thought we would at least have some branches snapped off out here. So the only thing that we really needed to do was get the water that made it up onto the pad away from the building. Everything else was pretty much fine. There was a few loose sticks on top of Callie's camper, but overall everything survived the storm well. And like I said, Callie stayed with us during the storm. And even though we lost power and internet service out here at the ranch, uh, we were able to come up here and still run our business. So we, while this hurricane was going on, stuff was still selling online. So we had to ship those orders out. So we came up here and in the dark, got everything, packed everything up, got labels, got our printer, took it back to our home, and then did the shipping from home. It's a shipping party. Let's go. Shipping party. And that's the update. Like I said, we got very, very lucky. Um, we're thankful that we weren't, you know, hurt more by the hurricane. Uh, like I said, I know a lot of people were affected pretty, pretty harshly by the storm. It was a big one. Um, we, we are thankful that we made it through and there's the update for you. But thank you again, everyone who reached out to us, making sure that we were safe. It really does mean a lot to us that you guys care enough about us to send those kind messages. So thank you so much, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Later, bye. It's so funny. <laughs>